Okay, this tutorial is going to take you through the back post double crochet. Um, just a little background here. We did our foundation double crochet, and then we did our row of um, front post double crochet. And again, you just want to remember that if you are doing a front or back post row, you want to start out with a chain two. It's a little bit shorter. Um, the double crochet, you have to remember, is going to go around the post, um, whether through the front or the back. Um, so it's going to be a little bit shorter. So here we go, we started with our chain two, and we're going to yarn over just like a regular double crochet, and here you're going to come around the back of the post, thus the name back post double crochet, and then you're going to complete it just like a regular double crochet. And again, just grab your yarn, and then go right around, and, and if in the beginning you have to fold it, that's fine, you'll, you'll get used to it along the way. Pull it up through, and then go right ahead, and again pretty simple. It's a little bit difficult to get used to. Um, I sometimes have a hard time, and I've done quite a few things with this lately, um, in making the basket weave. But you just want to just crochet like normal. Some people tend to go really tight when they're doing these stitches. Not a good idea. You're going to regret that later. Just try to keep it as normal as possible. And again, in the end, you want to do your half double crochet. Um, because again, remember, it is going to be a bit of a shorter row. Um, and there you have it. And you'll see, it looks like we've done two or three of the same row, and in all actuality, we did not. Um, in alternating the front post and back post, it's going to give you the top um, weave look for like the basket weave and things like that. Um, it also tends to give you a pretty nice knitted look if, if that's what you're going after. And that's the end of the back post.